Okay, this is called Check Understanding. We're still in Module 1, Lesson 1, Identify, Interpret Integers, and we're on the back side. For Check Understanding, let's see what you remember how to do first. So if you're watching this and you haven't done it yet, I want you to go ahead and pause and do what you can on this to see what you remember from what we did together in the first part of the lesson. So do what you can, and then we're going to come back and check it and see if you got things right or some things that maybe you didn't remember how to do. We're going to do it together. So let's look at this first one. An investment gains $5 in value on, or so, I need to change that, sorry, in one day. The next day it loses $3 in value. Represent each of these using integers. So some of you may have struggled on how to write these. So let's first look for our important information. Let's find our numbers. So we have five and we have three. Those are our integers. Now we need to see if they're positive or negative. If we look at the word in front of $5, it says gains. If I gain something, that's a positive thing. So this integer would just be five. But if I look at three, the word representing that is loss. So we they, it loses $3. Loses is negative. So the integer over here would be so we, negative three. So our answer for this one is five and negative three. If you put the dollar signs in front of them, that's fine. I'll take that. I'm just playing a game. On one turn, she earns two points. And on the next turn, she loses five points. We're going to graph her turns on the number line. So let's go and look for our numbers. We have two and five. And then we need to find the words that tell tells us if it's positive or negative. By two, we have earns. Earn means positive. By five, loses, which is negative. So we have a two and a five. And now we're going to put them on the number line. Let's make sure we count to make sure they're not counting by anything random. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're counting by ones. Oh, sorry, this should be negative five. I'm sorry. So let's put our two on there. We're going to put our dot right here at two, and I'm going to go ahead and label it. And then we're going to go to negative five, which is over here because negatives are on this side. And that's all you had to do on that one. Your favorite part was probably right down here at the bottom. Find the opposite of the integer. The opposite of four is negative 4. The opposite of negative 8 is 8. The opposite of negative 25 is 25. And the opposite of 121 is negative 121. That's all there is to to check understanding.